Good morning, sir. How you doing this morning? Well, indeed, we're thanking God, giving thanks to today. It's a fabulous Friday. Watch it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> mm. yeah I tell you. Yeah. And, and listen, you got some words that, that will, that will uh, uh, put us uh, in the right direction. And, 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 and I know that you're ready to go a day after uh, our July 4th. So, and we're ready for a pastor. All right, indeed, delighted to be sharing good news this morning. I trust that you had an awesome uh, celebration of Independence Day and had some rest and enjoyed time with family. And however you chose to so do it, that it was a restful, peaceful and enjoyable time to you. Well, on Independence Day, we talked about dependency upon God, that it is the source of keeping our minds quiet and our emotions still. As Isaiah 26 and verse three declares that he will keep those in perfect peace whose minds are stayed focused, attentively looking to him as we're ever conscious and mindful of him and for in so doing, we're trusting in him. Did you know your focus, your focus, what you focus upon uh, determines your thoughts, determines your emotions, your feelings. This determines how you feel, you know, determines your disposition, your attitude. And I believe this is why it's so key for us to understand this promise in scripture that as we keep our minds stayed upon him, he says that he will keep us in perfect peace. It's an amazing thing. It doesn't say we'll, we'll keep ourselves. He said he'll do it. And it's so true in so many things as we depend upon him, we have these promises as we look to him that uh, his, to, with the heal from which comes all of our help, that our help comes from him. He tells us to be still and know that he is God. He will be exalted among the heathen. He will be exalted in all the earth. And so our part is to still ourselves before him, to look to him and to not just in a moment, but to keep our eyes upon him. As the scripture says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse one, looking unto Jesus the author and the finish of our faith. That's how we run our race with patience. It's a continual looking unto Jesus. Now, that simply means that I'm depending and trusting on him moment by moment, day by day. Understanding what Jesus told us very plainly in St. John chapter 15, verse five. The connected relationship is, he says, I am divine and you are the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. Friend, that's such a simple statement, but such an awesome instruction, promise, and a release for us to know that we are not expected to do anything without him so that we will do and do nothing without him. We will consult and uh, look for his grace, his mercy, his kindness, his ability, his strength, his wisdom, his provision and resources in everything. Not only that, but we will diligently hearken to him. Now, hearken is not a word that we uh, use very often in our common day uh, language today, but it's used often in the King James text of the Bible. For instance, in Proverbs chapter one, it says, but whoever will hearken to me will dwell in safety and will be secure without fear of evil. Proverbs chapter one, verse 33. But whosoever hearkens to me will dwell swift, safely and will be secure without fear of evil. And I have this thing I described called keeping your mind quiet and your emotions still, which is such a tremendous key in life. It's life changing when you discern what, what that means. Here's part of it here. 
When we hear the word hearken, it means not only to hear, but it means to listen, to diligently hear and listen. Hearing and listening are two entirely different things. See, hearing can be passive. For instance, you know, uh, every morning my alarm clock goes off and I hear it. But whether or not I listen and allow it to awaken me and get me up to begin my day is a decision, a choice that I make. It does its part and I hear it, but the motivation, the movement in response to it is the listening part of it. So it is when God says, if you will hearken or hear and listen to me, then what will happen is you will dwell in safely. Why? because he will always lead you in the way that you should go. He will lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He will lead you beside the still waters, make you to lie down in green pastures. And even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you're not needed fear any evil because he is with you. Because not only uh, is he with you in the valley of the shadow of death, but you were walking him before you ever came to that. And he didn't leave you because you went into it. So you know that your head will be anointed with oil, that uh, your cup will run over. He'll prepare a table before you, even in the presence of your enemy. And he says, you will secure, well, securely, you will be secure without fear of evil or foreboding. Friend, I want you to understand and know that being mindful and attentive to God, continually listening to him is a difference maker in your life. It will keep you secure, safe, your mind quiet, your emotions still as you trust in him. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connectedchurch.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. Doing this together, together together. You and I, we are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this fabulous Friday morning, Pete. Hey, hey, we appreciate you, Pastor, and we look forward to hearing you again in the morning on the Sanctified Saturday with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. It sounds like a plan to me, Lord willing. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Keep on doing what you're doing. Until then. All right, Pastor. Have a great one. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, listen. As we continue, and perhaps you have an extended weekend with yesterday being the 4th of July, or maybe you're back at work today. Either way, please know that peace is not uh, the absence of conflict or perfect, uh, perfect surroundings, but it is the peace, it is the, 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 the trust in God, the quietness of your mind and the you know, stillness of your emotions in the presence of God, trusting him at all times, depending on him. No matter what comes up, I'm depending upon my Father and my God. I'm depending on my Lord Jesus Christ, my King, my Lord, my Savior. I'm seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that as I do so, all things will be added unto me. What a great instruction the Lord Jesus gave us in Matthew 6, verses 33, 34. Father knows the things that we have need of. So we seek first the kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And he promises all things will be added to us. So set your heart to keep your, your mind quiet, your emotions still, your heart filled with peace as you trust in him because he promises to keep you in that peace. All right, always live from a place of peace. Faith operates in a place of peace. You listen and you hear in a place of peace. You walk in dominion and authority in a place of peace. No matter what comes or goes, the peace of God that surpasses of all understanding will guard your heart and mind as you depend and trust on him, casting every care upon him. And not only that, you become an agent of peace in this world because blessed are the children of God, for they are the peacemakers. They are called the children of God. All right. 
Remember this always, God loves himself in you. We do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Do have a fabulous Friday on purpose. You're authorized by one who made the day and the one who made you. And you're here because of him. Have a fabulous Friday and share some fabulousness with somebody else.